Very, very quiet. I'm hunting uh, sausages. Now, in the real world, when you hunt sausages, uh, you got to remember they're uh, very, very dangerous. Uh, they're known to randomly start shooting at you. And, of course, uh, when you're dealing with sausages, you have to make sure you pack the correct kinds of ammunition to make sure the sausage is not a threat. Nice. Actually, today's video is going to be about this thing, which you probably saw blocking my view a few moments ago. And this is the lovely, lovely mortar. Uh, this is a little 60 millimeter mortar. And it is a really, 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 really neat add-on on to H3VR. Now, unfortunately, all the noise I just made looks like I've attracted a couple buddies, uh, one over there or something along those lines. So we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of get into range of some enemy units, and then uh, we're going to kind of go to town on this thing. So this mortar itself is a pretty conventional mortar. It's just a tube with a little very, very, very heavy base in the real world. And basically, the way it works, is um, you drop out the shell in, uh, you select the different firing mode, which is what the switch right here is, and there's a little trigger in the case that you need it right there. Unfortunately, I'm about to be engaged, so I'm going to go... Anybody see where that just went? <laughs> How you doing, buddy? There he goes. Cool. So uh, what you do is you go ahead and uh, either set it to mortar mode where it drops some mortar shell and goes poof and fires, or you can do it in trigger mode for those of you who are so inclined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this mortar up here. And I'll walk you through how to use it. So I'm looking right now, and I'm detecting there's some enemies over on that side of things. So I'm just looking if there's an easy way to kind of get down. We'll pop over here and see if there's an easy kind of visual kind of looking in that direction. And then we'll uh, start raining death. And I'll kind of show you how I do my little range finding thing here. Do I see anybody I can pop shots at? I'm just looking carefully here. I think there's going to be... I'm just going to assume they're over there somewhere. So we're going to throw this thing... Oh, oh. <laughs> I almost lost it hard down on the ground, and what's going to happen is it's going to show these little arrows right here to let you know that it's operating. So what I do with the mortar is the uh, first thing I do is I come down here on the side, and I set it to drop mode. So we'll click, click, drop mode. Um, if you don't do it on drop mode, it's a little disappointing. I'll show you what I mean. We take the shell, we drop it in, <laughs> nothing happens. Uh, we can aim a little bit, and then we got to come down here and Oh, that's a satisfying sound. So what I normally do when I'm firing this thing is I use the rangefinder with me like this. And what I'll do is I'll kind of do one of these with the rangefinder and kind of get an idea of where I need to aim. So in this case, I'm aiming... <laughs> not that high. I'm aiming it's about 138 meters. I'm going to try to land one right behind the little sandbag. I think there's a bad guy over there. I also noticed that between that sandbag right there, which is going to be right there, it's about 133. So we'll do about 120 meters of a shot here. Now, there are two different shells that you can fire. Uh, this is the 60 millimeters, the conventional one. It doesn't have a little ring here, which gives it a little extra kick. The nice thing about this one is your maximum range, as you can see here, is only 400 meters. So I'm going to go over here, switch this to drop, and now we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up until it points at my 125 meters, which is going to be right around here. Now, one thing to watch out for is when I fire this, uh, what's going to happen is it's actually going to go farther than my 120 meters that I've calculated, 120 yards rather. Uh, the reason it's going to do that is because of the fact I'm above the actual target region that I'm going to hit. So about half a second is... <laughs> That was actually exactly where I thought it was going to hit. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust fire here a little bit. I suggest grabbing one of the arrows, not the whole arrow. All right. Let's see what that does here. That's where I wanted it. Oh, that was perfectly placed. All right, I'm looking at my map, and I detect there's still somebody over there, and he's a little off to the left there. So he might be up on that little stand. I might have just dropped that last one just a little bit too much. I'm going to bring it over to the side. I'll go ahead and place one a little bit further out also. Bring it to the left a little. I thought for a second that last one didn't fire. This is me looking through my binoculars. Notice some of the shots here are actually going... Oh, that was a crap one. That was way too high. All right, I'll bring one over to the left a little bit. By the way, aiming this thing, one of the strategies I used to use is you can actually tip the tube forward and you can use it to kind of like line yourself up. Right there. Service. A couple more, just for victory. And that should do it. <laughs> You're right, I've got one of these. 
The longest shot I've ever taken with this mortar, by the way, is about 450, I think I've done before. Yeah, that'll do it. You know, like you can see there's that tower right over there. It's about 450 meters away. Um, obviously, if we want to shoot that, that's going to be a bit of a project. So what I can actually do is we'll go ahead and spin us around. And you'll see I can't even do 450 meters with this shell. I'd have to swatch the one that's got the bigger ring. But anyway, we're done. So after having a successful uh, fire mission here, what you do is you grab onto it and you basically got to rip it out of the ground here. Oh, I hate it when doing this. This is the hard part. Come on, grab the whole tube there. It is. Ooh, okay. Now we're good to go. Let's see, did we succeed? Yeah, still somebody over there. Let's give him a bit of a surprise of his life. So when you're using this, this is not a direct fire weapon. <laughs> I know a lot of people would sit there and go, wait a minute, can't you just kind of do uh, one of these kind of things? Um, sure you can do that. Let me show you why you shouldn't do that, though. Do, do, do. Make sure you take the cap off so the weapon actually fires properly. This guy's about to get a bit of a surprise. I don't know how I didn't hit him. Oh, he's up there. Uh, fire. Oh. Oh, my gun went away. Oh, well, guess we'll do this the old-fashioned way. I don't know how that got through that sandbag. He's still up there. All right, let's go surprise him. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the mortar is a really, really, really cool weapon if you've not played with it. Uh, things you got to remember, though, is if you're doing like a take and hold mission kind of a thing, it does take a moment for the mortar shell to actually get where it needs to go. So when you are using it... <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good shot. So when you are using it, uh, remember that it is not something you're going to use when they're rushing at you. It is definitely something that you can use when, you know, let's go ahead around this corner and go with these guys. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a weapon that you can use to like soften up a target. Like if you know you're playing the, uh, like the Christmas one where you can run around this huge area and you basically can go picking people all afternoon. It works great because they're not moving. Um, if they are moving, this would become a much, much, much bigger process. Let's go ahead down this hill. I love this gun, by the way. That's my M21 light. <laughs> All right, let's go see here. I love the site, too, where it's got the combination of the red dot and it's got the regular site. Okay, here. How y'all doing? And where are you today? Oh, hi there. Oop, oop, not a good time for my thing, too. <laughs> Victory. But other than that, enjoy. 